In this thrilling story, a brave girl moves to a new home and meets a boy who seems brutal and mysterious. They have to live together, even though they don't want to. At first, they argue and try to ignore each other, but guess what? They start to care about each other. There's danger, excitement, and lots of surprises along the way. Their hearts tell them one thing, but the world tells them another. Can they listen to their hearts, or must they follow the rules? Watch the full recap to discover this story's exciting and spooky part. Remember to drop the next movie you want us to review or recap in the comments section below. Welcome to Popcorn Movie Recaps. Today, I will show you a 2023 drama and romance film. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. This story is about a teenage girl, Noah, and her mom, Rafaela, who pack their luggage and go to Will's house. Rafaela tries to converse with Noah, but Noah doesn't seem to be in the mood. They arrive at Will's home, where Will, expecting them, greets them. However, Noah does not acknowledge the greeting. Will and her mom, Rafaela, show her around before taking her to her room. In the next scene, Noah takes a photo of herself with some clothes and sends it to her friend Betty. Betty calls her and expresses her envy, telling her to enjoy herself. As this conversation was on, Nicholas was behind her, but she was unaware of his presence, which scared her. They get to know each other when Thor, Nicholas's dog, comes and starts barking at her, but Nicholas can silence him. She goes back to her and continues her conversation with her friend. Moving to the next part, we see Will, Rafaela, and Nicholas were already for dinner when Noah joined them. Things were going smoothly at dinner when Noah said something that hurt Nicholas. He decides to leave when Noah also decides to leave. This makes Will tell Nicholas to drive her home, which she refuses and forces her to follow him. On their way home, Nicholas was driving so rough like a lunatic, and she was unhappy about it, but Nicholas didn't seem to bother. They had a heated conversation, which made Nicholas stop abruptly and tell her to get down. She refused as usual, but Nicholas had to force her out and zoomed off, telling her to get a taxi. Noah was stranded in the middle of nowhere when a car passed. She waved for help and was lucky to have one. On their way, she discovers that the guy Mario helped her with is Nicholas's friend. He told her Nicholas must have dropped her because he wanted to get to a party early. After all, there won't be a party without Nicholas. On getting to the party, she saw Nicholas a gang leader, having fun with many girls. Noah was looking at the vibing party when Ronnie sent her a spiked drink, which Nicholas hit off her hand. He offered to take her home, but she wanted to go with Mario when she passed out. In the next scene, Noah is visibly drunk and dizzy, stumbling over her words and spouting nonsense as Nicholas drives her home. Despite his irritation, Nicholas ensures she gets home safely, supporting her as she wobbles to her room. The following morning, during breakfast, tension fills the air. Noah, feeling awkward and out of place, sharply reacts to Nicholas's casual remark. This reaction sparks another argument. In anger and embarrassment, Noah storms out, leaving the breakfast unfinished. Later, they find themselves at the beach, which momentarily soothes their frayed nerves. While relaxing, Noah overhears some guys discussing an upcoming car race where Nicholas will compete. Intrigued and anxious, she attends the race that night to see for herself. As night falls, the race scene is buzzing with excitement. The engines roar and the crowd's energy create a charged atmosphere. Nicholas, gearing up for the race, spots Noah in the crowd. His gaze hardens when he sees her hugging Mario, a familiar figure. This sight makes his stomach churn with jealousy, momentarily distracting him. Despite the distraction, Nicholas pulls himself together as the race begins. The competition is fierce, with cars speeding neck and neck. Nicholas, fueled by a mix of anger and determination, expertly navigates the track. The sight of Noah and Mario lingers in his mind, but he channels his emotions into his driving. Ultimately, Nicholas crosses the finish line first, clinching the victory. However, the win feels bittersweet. The unresolved tension between him and Noah, compounded by the sight of her with Mario, leaves him feeling conflicted even in his moment of triumph. The party continued as they celebrated his victory. Noah seemed disturbed by some pictures someone sent her. This made her need one, and Nicholas helped her with it and told her to wait in the car for Jenna to take her home, which she did. She went to the driver's seat and started the car when Ronnie drove and challenged her to a race that she accepted and won. Everyone was happy for her, but Nicholas had to pay for breaking the rules. The party ended with a fight amongst the gangs when Ronnie called Noah made Nicholas mad, but they were able to escape before it became worse. The next day, there was a gala at Will's company. Rafaela woke Noah and told her to prepare for the event. Will also noticed that she was sad and comforted her as Noah watched them. P. 
people saw Nicholas with his sister Maggie, and they discussed some of their family matters. After the gala, Noah is with Thor when Nicholas comes in. They conversed and kissed so well that Rafaela interrupted them, telling Nicholas to meet his father. In the following scene, people see Noah washing her mom's car when Rafaela arrives with Dan. Noah is unhappy to see her because of what she has with Nicholas. That same day, while Nicholas was going home, Ronnie showed up, dissed him, and beat him up. He got home with bruises and was outside where he helped Noah adjust her clothes when she punched him before realizing that it was Nicholas, not Dan. They started their nasty talks and were kissing when Dan saw them. The next day, Noah received another letter from Ronnie and was unhappy. Later that day, Noah went to a street fight with Nicholas, Anna, and Mario. They got there and almost made out with each other when Jenna and Lion showed up, interrupting her fun. Nicholas's turn was to fight, but Noah won't let him. He has already made up his mind and won't listen to her. During the fight, she left, leaving him to win the battle, and Mario followed her. They talked a little, and Myro kissed him. This made Nicholas push him. Noah was unhappy about the whole thing, but Mario had to leave. Noah told Nicholas she feared him before going with Mero, Jenna, and Lion. Nicholas seemed to have lost everything. In the next scene, we see Nicholas and Thor exercising at the beach, and Noah working as a weight person. She keeps receiving disturbing letters from an unknown person. As we move on in our story, we see Will telling Nicholas about Noah's father, how dangerous he is, how he beats up Rafaela, and how Noah is scared of him. As the next scene unfolds, we see Noah and Jenna playing a game and taking shots if they lose. They did this till Noah got drunk. As they were about to leave, Jenna called Nicholas to pick them up, which he did. Nicholas was able to stop someone stalking the girl and took her home. Nicholas spent the night in Noah's room and was caught by his father, Will, when he came to announce that Maggie, Nicholas's sister, was in the hospital. They both went to see her at the hospital and discovered she had raised the alarm. They thanked the nurse and left. On their way home, they stopped by a river and made out after conversing about what they would affect when they got home. They also spent the night there. The following day, Nicholas suggested they run away, but Noah saw no use in it. At the gas station, Nicholas went to get an item from the shop, leaving Noah alone when Ronnie came and kidnapped her. He came out and couldn't find her. This left him with no choice but to tell his parents the whole situation and also involve the police. Wills was disappointed in his son because he thought he had left such a lifestyle in the past. In the following scene, Noah woke up to see it was her father, Jonas, who kidnapped her. He then called Rafaela and instructed her to pay a ransom of one million without involving the police. Rafaela and Will followed his instructions, but Jonas didn't attend because he wanted to see Rafaela and Noah suffer. Nicholas could track the car's location because he was paying for the insurance. On getting there, they saw the car burst out of the garage and they chased after it with Noah driving. They catch up with them at the harbor when Noah and Nicholas execute a handbrake drift, creating an opportunity for the police to apprehend Jonas. This plan worked perfectly, and Rafaela and Will were relieved to see their children safe. Our story ends when Nicholas sneaks into Noah's room. She is so happy to see him. Rafaela is unhappy about what is happening between them and requests action. The end. Join our community. Subscribe for in-depth reviews and expert analysis on more videos like this. Click on the bell icon to experience more of our movie talks. Thanks for watching.